in all my vlogs, I go for a walk. And this is probably the ultimate walk I've ever vlogged. Turn 23 It was the world versus you and me We were both head over heels Yeah, you remember how that feels Yeah, baby We thought we would win somehow We're laughing at that now fell apart It felt like you were holding my hurting heart We swore we'd try again That was the beginning of the end I want to tell you that I'm different Oh, that time in love was well spent You know we had to learn a long way so we could look back and smile someday If I'm honest, I'm overjoyed Now I know who I am This is my voice It's an awful house Now I need to get you out I'm working on a plan right now To come through I've waited for a lifetime for you To calm down Oh, nothing feels the same without you Second, I get caught by you. I'm 
choked up next to you I've waited for it yesterday just to kind of like adjust and recover from the traumatic flight. I mean, it went well, but it's like you're flying with toddlers. It's a lot. Thank you for joining. We are going to be here for two weeks. Um, we are going to be on Oahu, Kauai. I've never done a two week long vlog, so I'm going to be vlogging sporadically. We'll see how that goes. But right now we are going to the zoo. We're going to meet up with my husband's parents and his sister and her two kids and we're just gonna see some animals yeah we're gonna we're in the car yeah and we're gonna back it up can you say hello hello good job <laughs> yeah hello Troy <laughs> good yeah hello. yeah good job hello. good job so yeah it's beautiful weather hello, here hello. uh we're currently in honolulu um hello Bodie and troy yeah hello Bodie and troy okay, i just want to say thank you for tuning in prepare for a lot of beach a lot of shots of palm trees happy kids hopefully it all goes well um do you want to walk to the zoo no it's 1.5 miles no. <laughs> <laughs> we're loaded in the car we are driving yeah, the flight went well. I mean, I wouldn't recommend flying um, 12 hours with a two-year-old, if you can help it. But we're here on like a family trip. Like his whole extended family is here. There's 30 of us. We're staying in Honolulu for a couple days. And then we're going to be all staying at a, like a big house together on the beach in Kauai. Um, so it's like a big family trip. So we were kind of like not forced into this situation but we never would have planned a Hawaii trip with like kids this age honestly though I'm kind of glad like I was kind of dreading the trip for a while just because of the unknowns and the long flight but now that we're here and it's just going really well um we're having a really good time and I'm, I'm really happy that this trip was scheduled and we're here so yeah just wanted to say hi because I haven't said hi yet in the vlog but we're doing good hi
but vlogging with like the whole family, like the kids and stuff, is kind of difficult. I, you guys know I kind of like to vlog more in private, um, but it is what it is. So I thought I would kind of explain a little bit more about Hawaii. So we are here as a family, all like 30 of us, um, because we're going to spread my husband's grandfather's ashes. He's a World War II veteran and it was like his desire to have that as his final resting place. So we have a ceremony in two days. Um, but first impressions, everyone here is so nice, which I didn't expect. I don't know, for some reason I thought people would just kind of be like, ugh, tourists. Um, but everyone's so nice. We've been doing a lot of that. Aloha, mahalo. Um, kind of just getting into the flow of island vibes, which is really amazing because we've just been stuffed up at home with sicknesses and the move. And so this is like a really nice change of pace. Um, Cause yeah, it's been a really long time. It's been like a long time since we've been on a trip and we've never done a family trip with the kids. Um, Cause it always just kind of felt like the wrong timing. So, so far it's going really well. Our boys love to travel. So far I'm really glad I've been pushed into this situation outside of my comfort zone. Um, it's just so beautiful here. It's like paradise, like how could you complain? Think of the elephant. It's a big elephant, huh? Yeah, you're not sure about it? <laughs> so far, the zoo is beautiful. second vlog with a zoo. Is it? Yeah. We, doing so we, did, the, we did the lights. Oh, that's right. Mm -hmm. the, no. The, our lantern yeah. fest.
kids love the zoo. You're sweaty. I just reapplied sunscreen, but I love a good zoo experience. Yeah. See elephants? I would recommend this activity if you're coming to Honolulu with toddlers. Just bring a stroller. It's a lot of walking. Um, but the animals are pretty active. Like you can see a lot. Hun, you have to see this enormous turtle. You'll love it. Okay. Hubby loves turtles. There's one there, and there's one there. Two of them. But yeah, I would recommend prepare to sweat. Maybe wear your hair up. Is that a turtle or is that a dinosaur? It's beautiful. It makes me so like think of God's creation, you know? They get so much encouragement. hoping you could see me as more than just the way I make you feel. We're hitting this up and then we're gonna go home. Nap, nap, bedtime, all of that has been going really well. We got an Airbnb with two bedrooms. We have Troy in a pack and play in the walk-in closet. Um, we've been doing a mixture of eating out and getting some groceries. Just trying to like relax a lot, you know. I even got my run in yesterday and I was sweating so bad. And I got a bit of a sunburn already because I was so focused on making sure every single other person had sunscreen on that I missed a couple patches on myself. That's momming for you. We, we've tried some authentic um, Hawaiian food. Also, I almost got hit in the head with a mango <laughs> at the zoo. I was like walking out of the bathroom and I heard a loud crash next to me, like two, not even, like one foot from my face. Um, and it was a mango. Like, is there anything more Hawaiian than almost getting hit by a mango? <laughs> like, <laughs> it's been pretty funny. back from the zoo we went to the market and I got some things that I wanted to try um because you guys know I like watching K dramas I like watching J dramas and the show Tara's house where they have spam a lot and it's like a Hawaiian thing Happy and the kids are gonna go around for next soon for now because we're gonna have nap pretty soon. Yeah. Really? Yeah. He likes the papaya.
What's your hand roll? It's a California hand roll. $2.99. My gosh. I bet your sushi's gonna be good. Wow, that Hand is roll. so good. And I know about it because of my clothes. What is it? It's like sushi, just not hot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. vacation was our Florida one before kids. Can I make the tacos tonight? Are you worried about how I'm gonna cook? That? No, I just wanna cook. Oh sure. And I wanna try something. Could you move to Hawaii? Would I? Could you? Nope. I mean I could. <laughs> I could deal with it, but I couldn't leave here full time. Like, like we'd be sitting here and it'd be 80 degrees out and sunny. And like, wait, what month is it? Wait, what <laughs> month is it? I know. We like our seasons. Like but I, I walk outside and I'm like, oh, okay. Um, I'm frozen and there's ice on my windshield. It's December through March. I could spend February and March here. I could spend December through March anywhere but Michigan. I know. <laughs> Back home, it's like snowing. Mid-March. No, Easter. It's snowing. It's actually kind of perfect because we've had like the this mildest of word. Mm -hmm. The mildest winter yeah. ever. And then we left and it, now winter's here. Yeah. It's perfect. I'm glad, I'm glad we did this. <laughs> You're at that point finally? Yeah. Took one step out the door Wish I'd taken before I can't make amends If those are only good friends Took one look at the car
skincare I have slugged so I have aquaphor on I just took a shower there's a load of laundry going and I have to do a lot of packing um, so this is a little informal but just imagine you and I are on vacation together and we're sharing a room and I'm next to you giving you the download so this vlog has been kind of weird for me because you know I like to talk to you guys a lot, especially in the beginning, and kind of give us our bearings and move through the vlog together. But it was different because it's my first time ever going on a big family vacation with my kids and like both of them. And it's my first time traveling with toddlers and doing all of that while also vlogging was like too much for your girl because you know I'm a little out of practice with videos and all of that. So. So basically we arrived Thursday. It's Sunday evening now. We've just kind of been like Honolulu residents for the last few days, just like waking up every day in our condo, walking to the beach. Today we did drive to the North Shore to kind of watch some surfers, get a bit of a different experience. Today was like a lot harder too. So there's like less vlog footage. Bodhi didn't nap, that was a whole thing. We had a family meeting cause this is a big giant family vacation. Like, we're the only ones with like really little toddlers. Everyone else has like older kids. So our routine is looking like a little different from all the cousins, but it's chill. Everyone has been so helpful and accommodating. And I really think it's growing me as a mom, you know, to be, put in this situation because we've said like this whole time like we would never in our right minds plan a big Hawaii two and a half week vacation uh with kids this age um but we ended up on this trip because the family planned it and I'm actually really happy for that like I was kind of dreading it for a long time because it's just a lot of work and there was so many unknowns and my kids like the time change is six hours so like they're going to sleep like back home at like 1 a.m. 1 a.m. Michigan time. And so like, that's really hard, you know, napping the whole nine yards, but they've adjusted really well. It's taught me to be more flexible. Kids are so resilient and we're just making a lot of memories, um, good and bad. <laughs> There's been some hard times. The plane ride was like, whoo, plane ride was okay. It was supposed to be 10 and a half direct Detroit to Honolulu. 
we got delayed on the tarmac for an hour and a half we didn't even take off we were just like chilling while they were fixing it you guys know there's been a lot of weird stuff with like planes nowadays so i was like please like fix it all you want i do not want to be a news story so they got it sorted out but that turned it into like a 12 hour direct flight like our first time flying with kids so it was like me and troy and then grant and bodie and once we got there like we had to get Grant had to go on the shuttle, I had to stay with the luggage and the kids, and then he had to get the rental car. And so by the time we got settled in our um, like condo, it was like 1 a.m. Michigan time. Troy had not slept all day. So he was up from like 7 a.m. and then he napped like, like in the stroller after we got off the plane and before we got into the rental car. So he was like up from 7 a.m. to like 10.30 p.m. Michigan time but here it was like still sunny and stuff and he did so good but it was like really hard on me because he was like crying like that pain cry because he probably felt so sick you know I feel sick when I don't get enough sleep um so that like made me cry <laughs> so we're like driving from the airport from Honolulu Bodie and Grant are like keeping us together Troy's crying and I'm just like in the front seat like like I was also so tired so I was just like like this like tears running down my face like silent crying because I was just like I just had enough <laughs> like, uh, not my proudest moment like I didn't even see what Honolulu looked like after that flight we just were like crying a total mess got to the condo got everybody to sleep and then I got a second wind we recovered and it really wasn't bad it's just I have a hard time like hearing my child cry and like you can't do anything about it like trying to comfort him trying to help him sleep like you can't do anything about it like he's just in pain like he just needs to sleep um i'm very like sensitive to when they're upset it makes me upset so that was probably the worst part like of the entire trip and it was horrible <laughs> but then the next day we were at a lagoon in the sun and it was snowing back home in michigan and it was like you know what i'm grateful to be here and i think that's the number one thing just like being grateful that we have this opportunity like yes it would be awesome for us if our kids were a couple years older but like you don't know what the future holds like it's awesome that we get this opportunity now so that's kind of why we're here i think tomorrow will be kind of emotional for my husband's family his grandpa was an amazing person, lived a very long life. He was like well into his 90s when he passed um, and it wasn't sudden or anything, but you know, death is hard. So we're gonna be doing that and then have another flight. And I think this flight will go a lot better, but then yeah, five or six days, I think it's five days, maybe five nights, I'm not sure, um, all together. But now that we're through the flight, now that we're here, now that we've been doing our activities, I totally get why people travel with little kids. Like, I get it. I honestly would do this again. Like, it's been amazing to make memories. And even in the hard times, it's still like, we're not at home. We're not like in our normal routine. Like we're in this beautiful weather in this beautiful location. There's always something to do. Dad's not working. Like we're just making memories all together. It's been really, really special. Um, and I've also heard like, oh, like don't travel with little kids because they won't remember it. And it's like, well, I'll remember it. And also like they won't remember it, but these experiences give them knowledge. And I've talked about this before on my Instagram, but it's like those first few years, like you can't just do anything as a parent and be like, oh, well, they won't remember it because it's like you're forming their knowledge. Like by the time they're three, maybe they don't remember what happened, but they have knowledge. Like they know that mom loves them. They know that dad loves them. They know that daddy goes to work. Maybe they even know daddy's job. Like they have knowledge, even if they don't have memories. And so right now I feel like we're just forming their knowledge of the world. Like the world is big and there's lots of experience and fun. And like, they're gonna know about the ocean. They're gonna know about like the plains, you know? And I think that's really special. So this trip was definitely pushing me out of my comfort zone. And I think like sometimes when I do have a bad attitude, like that's what I do, like I dig like behind it and I think okay 
why because usually it's like some sort of like anxiety or fear and I did have fear I had fear about this trip and so I spent a lot of time talking to my friends and my husband of like well how can I first of all like make my situation better like prepare for the trip and blah 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 what's the worst that could happen and then how do we prepare for that and then also like learning to be flexible and like let go of your expectations so I feel like I'm always coming on here and like telling you guys like what I'm learning and blah, blah, blah. But like, that's what it is to be human. Like you're always growing and I want to grow from this experience, especially as a mom. And I think I have like today, we were just like, honestly, today was probably the worst day so far of the vacation <laughs> just because Bodhi didn't nap, Troy barely napped. Um, it was raining at the beach and then they like we couldn't do the doll plantation like we wanted like we had promised them the choo-choo train not promised but we said we were going to go to the choo-choo train at the doll plantation which is like a pineapple farm um and then when we got there it was like way too busy and the kids were falling asleep in the car so we just had to go home and it was just like depressing a little bit like you know when just like nothing goes right it kind of felt like that and then we ended up at the pool which happened because the kids weren't napping at home they were just like goofing around and grant and i were like exhausted and so i was like you know what let's change it up we need to go make a good memory so we went down to the pool and things were really up there from like uphill from there uh grant's turning 30 on this trip too so he was like you should go just like enjoy like maybe stop in a store so i got him some like hawaiian uh like i got him some graphic t-shirts got him some graphic t-shirts like that say hawaii on them because like he likes to wear casual t-shirts a lot like he has casual t-shirts from middle school like in his drawers <laughs> at home they're in good condition and like they're like cool memories and stuff and he wears them um so i got him two of those and i also got him a hat and stuff um but yeah like this trip is also like you know a bit of a celebration for him turning 30 so there's a lot going on and like by the time i post this he'll have opened them so i can tell you but right now we're in on a secret together <laughs> but yeah i bought the, him that stuff and i bought myself a little keychain thing um and i got the pizza then we had the family meeting to talk about like the memorial service tomorrow and stuff so but yeah just gonna pack up mahalo packing to do the beach toys are back out the kids are hanging out it's gonna be a mess but we brought four big suitcases and then we have two carry-ons like the kitchen is super messy <laughs> we got suitcases it's so great so I'm just here home alone with the boys right now it's our last morning here um, because hubby is the winner it's our last morning here. Um, hubby is at Island Jiu Jitsu. So back home in Michigan, he does what's called Island Jiu Jitsu. It's different than Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. And it was started in Honolulu. So he kind of like went to the mothership and he was like really excited.
Troy like an hour nap in the car, which is so good because I thought today would be a no nap day and he needs his sleep. So now we're just gonna get food. Tip the cup. Gemini, born in Doris, spring moon sky. Couldn't change her if you tried. She's got roses on her mind. Mm, watch them grow. Where a she wants to go. Never picking up her phone. She could Doris be in a long row. And they say, Juliet, when is she coming around? She ever settling down, they don't know Juliet. But you're not crying. She's right in the wind in her hair. Can't try to keep up that day. You're there and there. Chasing like she's a hurricane without warning. This end of the storm is a star. There and there. Chasing. Things start to break down a little bit. But once we get to the house, it should be okay. How are you feeling? <laughs> the kids are okay. They're like a little slap happy still. 
been this way for like a bit. But the flight was like 20 minutes. I got something cool too. It was like a 20 minute flight, but they still gave us My guys. juice. It's raining, we're stranded, but the kids are having fun. are in bed and there's a million people in the house. Okay, you can't see me, but this is crazy. We are walking on the beach. It is so beautiful here. Like, I'm also like finally talking to you guys because I there's a moment of silence in this vehicle. Like, <laughs> you've seen the footage. The house is absolutely bananas. Like, it's crazy fun. Like, the kids are just loving it. My kids, even though they're so little, they're being included. It's crazy. Like, it's just go, go, go. We boogie boarded this morning. I got like so many waves I was riding like a few waves um like with some of the kids we were just like looking at each other like not my kids like the cousins we were like looking at each other and like screaming floating all the way to shore it was so cool um but now the boys are napping uh there's a ton of people at the house um so I was like I am gonna go sneak out and exercise because I woke up at 3 45 this morning I mean it's Kauai time but still I'm like struggling and I'm hoping that working out today will kind of like tire me out and I'll sleep all night but the time change in general has been going like okay um I definitely wouldn't let that hold you back from visiting this area it's so awesome but yeah oh and I got a boogie board to the face <laughs> boogie board to the face that's like right around the time like everybody started coming in from boogie boarding like we all got bo boogie board to the face because like you try to like go over or under a wave and when the waves just get too powerful too crushing um the boogie board flips up and it hits you in the face and it like snapped my neck back and I was like oh my goodness it's, like is there anything more embarrassing like 
the boogie board to the face. <laughs> but anyways, it's been good. We have dinner all together tonight this week like we're just doing chill beach stuff and we have like a train tour on like a fruit plantation that we're like excited for that we promised the kids train um at the other island and it didn't happen so i'm like feeling kind of bad but in general i mean it's going about as well as like a trip with a two-year-old can go so as far as exercising i've been meaning to update you guys i started running in september um, like two to three times a week, one mile, uh, one to two miles. Um, and then I was cranking it up to doing two to three miles every single day before this trip. And my cardio is so good right now. I'm loving it. I feel so strong. Like this morning I like hiked both kids up on my hips and walked half a mile down the beach. It is so good as they're getting heavier their mama is getting stronger. So I've just really been loving it. Sometimes I run fast, sometimes I run just kind of slow. I listen to some crazy pump up music and it's really wonderful. It, it's it been really helping body recomposition after having kids and then also, like I said, just energy and strength and endorphins and all of that. So that's what I'm up to. I feel like my postpartum journey, I've been working on a blog post, but the reason I haven't posted it is because the update keeps changing. Like I keep like achieving more. And so the blog post isn't done because I have to add a bit about my running in at the end. From postpartum with Troy to now, I have come so far on bed rest. I had gained a lot of weight. I uh, hold my weight really well, so you can't quite tell, um, but I had a ton of weight to lose, especially in my legs. I think since having Troy, I've probably, I think I've lost like 40 plus pounds. Um, and I mean, a lot of that came out with the baby, but there's just been, you know, body fat, getting my muscle back, blah, blah, blah. So running has been absolutely amazing. Um, I was such a hater of running for so long, but I also did run all throughout like grade school, high school, college. And I basically only stopped after I got married. So I took like a six, six-ish year break, um, but I'm back at it. And the car is getting stuffy, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I go across the county, I find nothing but wholesome memories of all the people I knew. Some things just were meant for you, though I wouldn't have said by so soon.
it's like Yeah, this is a lot better than having them walk. Here, I'm gonna follow you. Yeah. This is what we train for. Hey. <laughs> yeah, bye bye, goats. Top of the waterfall. Yeah. Oh, the waterfall. On top. On top. <laughs> yeah, Troy. I'm a jungle mama right now. We don't even baby wear really in our day-to-day -day life and he's doing, he's doing so good. This is amazing. It's like in all my vlogs, I go for a walk and this is probably the ultimate walk I've ever vlogged. And it's with my whole family and I'm so happy. And we're seeing the most beautiful sights. There's no bugs. Like I did use bug spray on the kids and me before we got here, but oh, he's sleepy. Okay, he's gonna be ready for a nap. You think we'd be eating a lot? Bodie, how are you doing? Yeah, Bodie, you doing a good? Hi, baby. <laughs> River.
Is that what they told you? Daddy's gonna do it for you. are done with breakfast and so now we're gonna go do nap time and then the beach the kids did so well on the hike like they didn't even cry it was amazing i want to do more um i can't believe that was like what we did for our first family hike ever but breakfast was delicious i would highly recommend the olympus cafe like it was kind of pricey everything here is pricey but the portions were huge so we are full now and Living life, grateful to the Lord for all of this amazing time we have together. photos that was Nana's Christmas gift so we're gonna wear Lay's professional photographer I never like how I look in professional photos I always take my own pictures we'll see look at this it's crazy We just finished professional photography. Bribing the kids with fruit snacks. And this one's a model. My favorite
We've arrived at the Kilohala uh, train plantation tour. It's like a fruit plantation with train lunch, um, and the kids are really excited for the choo choo. This is really awesome. The kids have tried so many different types of fruits and we've actually learned a lot more about Hawaii and Kauai, which is like what we wanted. We wanted to come here and like actually learn about where we were staying and how they got here. <laughs> so, and the two, the train, like the combo, it's enough walking, we're about to eat. So it's been a really great excursion. They say don't leave me alive. Oh, 
Javi always pets the animals so cozy at these yeah. places. <laughs> oh, you got a spot. That's a spot, isn't it? Good job, baby. Isn't it fun? Daddy will help. Daddy will load you. You guys want to feed the cow? Yeah. <laughs> she was job. like, uh. <laughs> okay, you got to put it right in the cow's mouth. Okay, right? don't throw, don't, don't throw. throw She's right going to open her tongue. Yeah. Good yeah. job. This morning we went shopping, then to the beach. I'm showing Grant the running trail that I've been doing, but this time we took it on bikes straight from the big house. Um, they're not as good as the they're not as good as the ad motor bikes, but they'll do. You like a vacation? Loving it. Yeah, I want to come back every year. <laughs> Thank you. 
Somehow got sick. <laughs> I guess that's just what happens when you have like 30 people, 15 of them kids, in a little spot for a week. So I have stomach cramps and on top of that, menstrual cramps. <laughs> Your girl is not doing too hot. But I am not going to let it get me down. I can feel a pulse in my stomach as I walk, but I have to get eggs and be a mom for my babies. So, cheers to being sick on vacation, but it is the second last day, third last day. So it's not like it's the middle, so that's at least a blessing. Staying at the Hilton Resort. This place is enormous, and there's like a lot of long-term people here, short-term, but in general, it's like beautiful. I wish we were staying a couple more days, but real life calls. So we'll be returning soon. In general, I like, it's been such a weird vlog because I, especially when we were with all those people, I didn't have like a chance to super talk to you guys. Oh, cool. You can't see it. There's a natural water feature here. Um, I like cannot wait to come back to Kauai already. Like. This place is called the Garden Island. It is so beautiful. We learned a lot on that plantation tour, just of how the Polynesians found Hawaii, how, you know, they cultivated the plants. Like, it was really interesting. Um, but, but we were seriously already looking up Airbnbs and VRBOs. Like, look how nice this is. For, maybe not next year, but the year after, we were like, Let's save our sky miles. We were talking about going to Europe. 
like Switzerland or something. That's like my dream, but I would almost rather save my sky miles and come back to Kauai as a family. Um, because the actual Airbnbs and VRBOs are not like super overpriced here or anything. It's just, you know, the flights. Um, I think we'll pack light and make it happen because like I need to come back. It's just incredible. I, I honestly like don't feel ready to go home, especially now showing up at this incredible resort and like your girl is feeling queasy when I just want to be like feeling fresh and happy and jump into a lagoon. It's a little tough. Also, I feel like in every single vlog at some point, I either get a menstrual cycle or an illness. And I feel like you guys never see me at my best. Maybe my commentary videos are at my best because I only like film those when I'm feeling like really good. But um, I was also thinking about my schedule recently and how I have not been posting and like, I don't know. you know how I feel about inconsistency. But what's really happened is I was posting like a ton of vlogs. You guys know that like last May and June, um, like the Lantern Festival and all that stuff. And then hubby had his accident. That took me out for like four months, right around the time he healed and life got back to normal. Um, we started moving <laughs> right when I posted my October vlog. So basically, once we're done moving, I think I'll return to a normal posting schedule. a different vibe
plot we're plotting to come back. We're plotting to extend. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, like, this has just been the best trip. I was just telling Grant, like, I came here kicking and screaming. Like, that's kind of why I didn't vlog a lot of the flight, because I was just, like, so overwhelmed, overstimulated. It was really, it was really hard. Um, but now I'm just so, I feel so much more accomplished as a mom. Like, the kids have been so flexible. Like, naps have worked out. Like, they've just been till everything. Like, figuring out from car seats to pack and plays to the flight and everything. Like, Having family for a while was amazing. Like it's just been honestly a life changing trip for me, which it might sound crazy. Um, I feel a little bad. Like I've been also telling Grant, like I filmed this vlog weird. I don't know how it's gonna all come together, but if I haven't communicated it properly up until this point, this trip has been like one of the best vacations of my life. Like being here with the family and just the kids. I highly recommend traveling with toddlers. And I've gotten that question before, like, what do you do if you can't, like, leave your kids behind but you still want to travel? Take them with you. You will get time with your husband, like, have a coffee out on your balcony, you know, use nap time where one of you can go out and walk or whatever. Thank <laughs> you.